With Spongebob being on the air for more than 20 years, we've seen tons of characters so far. Whether that be just someone who appears for a single episode or a member of the main cast, it's hard to keep track of everyone, but there's one character in particular that people just don't talk about. It's especially weird because this individual has been in every single episode of Spongebob, and no, I'm not talking about the main character himself. Who exactly could this be that we've constantly seen over and over again, yet nobody ever mentions them? It's Spongebob's dad! No, it's it's the pirate in the theme song. There's no mystery with the thumbnail. This is the very first dude we come face to face with when any episode of Spongebob starts, and that's because he's the one who sings the theme song, obviously. Yet despite this pirate showing up over and over again, some may assume he's just a random guy who loves sailing the sea. If he has no backstory or other details, then you might be asking, what's the point of going further? Why should we take a deeper dive into his character? Well, here's the thing. He's more than just your basic pirate, so let's go through just about everything we know surrounding him. Then the next time you watch the Spongebob theme song, you can stare at him intensely straight in the eyes and say, Oh, cool. Let's kick things off with his grand introduction. You may or may not know this, but he has a name. It's Painty the Pirate. The name was attached to its creator, Calvin Leong, who brought Painty into existence during April of 1999. That makes sense, considering it's the year the official series premiered on Nickelodeon. Although he was named Painty behind the scenes, there wasn't really any indication of that throughout Spongebob, and that's because it didn't matter too much. It was supposed to be a neat little pun of the fact that he was a painting, and something funny for the crew to laugh at. He shows up at the the beginning, sings his theme song, and then he's gone. Until the next episode, of course. In one of Paul Tibbet's now deleted tweets, he shared this picture of the original Painty the Pirate painting. It's really cool to see the man behind SpongeBob's theme song in person, but you'll immediately realize he's missing a mouth. Of course, that was intentional in the theme song so that the mouth could be replaced by a live action one. More specifically, what you see here is actually the mouth of Steven Hillenburg, so in a way, he too has been in every single episode of the show. But now that we have a few details about Painty's background, is there anything else we know about who he is as a person? What are his abilities? What are his past adventures? And why is he here singing about Spongebob? Not every answer is revealed. But in the classic episode Your Shoes Untied, Spongebob goes around trying to find someone who can tie his shoes. In one of Painty's only lines throughout the series that doesn't involve being in the theme song, he confirms that he's just a painting of a head. Could you show me how to tie my hey? shoes? Arr, I be just a painting of a head. We already know that, of course, but does that mean he was never a real pirate? Is he only a conscious singing painting and nothing more? The second SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, is here to go against that. You see, it follows this pirate named Burger Beard, who acts as the main antagonist. Over the events of the movie, he takes the Krabby Patty's formula to real life and directly goes against SpongeBob and the rest of our heroes. But towards the very end, there's a surprising moment that clashes with everything we know. As Burger Beard begins to sing the iconic Spongebob theme song, a picture frame surrounds him to replicate that of another certain pirate in the series. Soon after this, he straight up just turns into Painty, which means that they may or may not be the same character. But if this movie was actually his origin story, then why do Spongebob and everyone else already know each other? Shouldn't this all take place before the first episode of the series? These questions lead me to one conclusion, it doesn't make sense. If we take into account that Burger Beard was indeed Painty the pirate all along, then why does Painty still call himself a simple painting, even though he's had this previous life making Krabby Patties on the surface. I think we can all agree that Sponge Out of Water isn't anywhere near as canon as, say, the first Spongebob movie, so I'm just gonna say Burger Beard isn't the theme song pirate we all love, even though I will admit that he may have had a past life. Oh, who lives in a chicken parmesan here under the sea? <laughs> But luckily for us, this isn't where the lore ends. Gotta be honest, I never expected to come this far off of a single image in the Spongebob theme song, but here we are, this is happening whether you like it or not. Special thanks to the official wiki for the show for including the following info. In the book, Oh Barnacles, Painty reveals that his parrot is very mischievous and loves to play games, but often cheats to win. He also says that he and his parrot have been stuck inside of a painting for multiple years. Stuck in a painting? Hmm, I wonder how that happened. Well, we don't have a confirmed answer, but this this does reveal that both Painty and his parrot have been real at some point in time. They have gone on crazy adventures, ones that we can only dream of. But despite being stuck in a painting, it's clear that he's still able to move around, at least if only a little. During the Spongebob 4D ride, he starts singing the theme song as usual, but then something strange happens. He sticks his head outside of the frame and uses enough force to pull the audience into the underwater world of Bikini Bottom. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye. 
Good! In you go! Even though he and his parrot have been cursed to live out their days in a painting, I'm just glad he can still move. So at the end of it all, who exactly is this pirate from the Spongebob theme song? There are still more than a few mysteries behind his past, some of which are answered if you choose to accept Sponge Out of Water as canon, even though I personally don't. But still, we've learned that he's more than just the theme song pirate. He is an absolute legend. Someone who's been watching over Bikini Bottom since the very beginning. This dude deserves more attention, honestly. We've explored just about anything we could surrounding him, and there's a big takeaway from it. Painty the Pirate isn't the hero we deserve, but the hero we need. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up, and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.